Hello and welcome to another session of Oxygen Not Included. So today, I wanted to look at a few things. Um, first of all, I kind of want to trap our morb up in like the upper areas so he's kind of up out of the way. That way I don't have to have this mesh tile. Um, realize that it's going to be a problem that the uh, the puffs can't sorry about that um, that the puffs can't drop their slime directly onto the ground and that seems to be my best plan of attack on you know getting him you know getting the oxygen that he's creating taken care of because it's starting to add up. So let's see what else we have going. We're still pumping out all of the carbon dioxide in this area so we can shove it all down here. Our slickster's doing good and I found our molten slickster which I thought we lost, but um, yeah, I guess he's doing well. So he's creating the petroleum, which is here on the top. And um, how old is he? He might eventually have an egg that we can take. I'm pretty sure we're not going to get to any of these guys anytime soon. You know, I could come dig up here. Actually, yeah, like that. That should add a little bit more to the mass and hopefully compress it upwards so we can start moving it towards our pump again. I made a mistake in um, opening this far up, you know, without kind of a plan. But we've, <coughs> excuse me again, um, we've got past, we have two Slickster larva eggs. How are you doing that? I'm not sure how you're doing that, but okay. I don't mind. More slicksters equals more stuff. S stuff is good. I like stuff. Um, we still haven't done anything with this biome yet. Um, I'd really like to get up there so I can get all the sleep wheat. How are we doing on food? We've definitely got plenty of food. I'm going to uproot that one. And let's go ahead and add some... Let's see. We got two worth of barbecue. And plenty of this. Our pinch of pepper nut has been going down. We might need to start an actual farm. I'm not 100% sure on that just yet. We've got a lot of uh, a lot of these guys running around, probably not helping anything. Um, let's see where else we can enable stuff. Um, we haven't really done much with the oxygen room up there. Um, I'd really like to make that some like actual oxygen production, not just um, for the exosuits. Um, the other thing that I'm needing is iron, which I suppose we have access to enough um, ore from like outer space, so we shouldn't worry about it too much, but you know, kind of 
Yeah, like we've got plenty available. So there's no reason to really worry. And steadily producing steel. Oh, let's use some of that gold, shall we? Um, gold. Let's finish the one that we started. Nice. So that'll add a little bit more decor to this area. Not many people will go through there, but it'll make their happiness a little bit higher. Um, and as soon as I get enough people moved out of here, I'm definitely going to um, start putting beds in here, I think. How many eggshells do we have? Just enough. And we don't have enough fossil just yet. So that's alright. I also could use all of this, but I'm kind of hoping that I can start using more of this water. But I'm not sure what would do that. What I was thinking was where I broke this pipe earlier, I can add an auxiliary, like, um, water bridge. Um, I'd probably want to do it at this joint. Um, how did we do it? Um, okay, so we would want to actually move this over one. So let's do liquid bridge that was to rotate and yeah, we want that to go in there and then we'll take this out and that way like normal and let's go ahead and put that there and once they get out there and build that we can reconnect this and uh, Hopefully that will start to uh, run that off rather than all of this water that we're trying to gather here. You know, we, we're not even starting to use this other one yet, so we, you know, we really gotta get to it and start making use of what we have. Which I, I, I guess, you know, letting it sit and gaining a little bit of a... Uh, backlog of it isn't too bad, but, you know, we're increasing the temperature over here by, you know, all this water that's coming in. It's just not a good time. Um, I do actually want to get in here. It, not only just because it will give them work to do. But because we need just to keep gathering iron. And we have another cold biome over here. So that's cool. Definitely always a fan of getting those because there's so much heat coming from everywhere else. You know, it's good to have a little bit of a stored temperature gradient to uh, better move things around. Let's see what they're doing over here. So we are making a lot of iron. Um, hopefully we'll be able to redouble that back into... Um... Oh, you're sleeping. I thought somebody left their exosuit out here. Um, we're definitely using iron for most things, and gold when like we need you know the temperature um, to be better good we got that so we can deconstruct that and we'll put our generator back in we'll probably need more and we will probably use like this area once we clear it out for um, for 
fertilizer producers. Um, I think it will help our... Um, what am I trying to say? Power situation. Which is a big issue right now, I believe. So that's doing good, awesome. And hopefully we can keep this at a decent temperature that these guys don't start creating... Okay, so over a hundred and under sixty. Okay, so we just have to keep it b above sixty to keep um, them producing things that we want. Um, okay. So. Okay, so is it that we're not getting enough of it? Do we have any more slime over here? Yeah, actually we might not have enough slime. Which hopefully these guys will get going. It's so a 76. 83. Okay, we might we might see one of those today. That would be nice. And let's see where Harold wants to go. Kind of running through everything already. Um, is that the one that... No, that's just kind of a dead-end one. So let's go ahead and give it to him. Why not? Also, I've kind of decided that I'm going to come down here, mine all this out. We're going to add another layer to this. And once we get all of the, the gross stuff cleared out, uh, we can, you know, uh, what am I trying to say? Once we get all the germs and stuff out, we can put in beds and probably knock out one of these rooms and just make it a straight shot. Um, and just open it up from over here and not put like another door or anything on it. I think that'd be a good idea. Just put a door here and slowly replace everything. Um, so that'll be our plan for... Oh, oh just another Dreklet egg. Go ahead and kill him. We'll get food. And this morb definitely is producing quite a bit of the polluted oxygen, so hopefully it won't be too bad. Um, like it won't take too much to eat what he produces. But we do want enough that we can keep a certain number of fish alive. Um, how's our metal production doing? They haven't done any of it. And I know I'm wasting metal with this system at the moment. Let me look at something. If I were to... Overheat temperature isn't really helping me much. 
So let's let's see about shortening this a bit. Because again we were working kind of around the clock. Um let's go ahead and connect this and deconstruct liquid pipes in there. And maybe that will shorten it enough that it's not getting too cold. But of course we don't want it too hot, so you know. Just keep balancing that system. Can I... Yeah, let's go ahead and enable auto harvest on that. Um, I don't know if it'll give them that much more to do, but something worth spending a little bit of time on at least. Okay, so we definitely need more lime. We've still got plenty of everything else. So, what do we want to do? I just kind of want to keep checking everything. See when people are moving around. And really, we're not going to have to worry too much about the fish, at least for the beginning, because we're going to be using a lot of that to produce like the, the dirty water for that. Um, it's good that we're starting to fill up all of our... Um, these guys glum? Yeah, they're a little glum. So here, let's go and deconstruct this, this, and that. And then, I don't think there's anything that we have to put back in this room again. But hopefully we'll keep them a little bit happier. Um, our eventual goal for them is to put them in a room with a solar power generator. Oh. I didn't know these guys were still alive. I have a really... Oh, they're just regular puffs. I see. So the puffed prince eggs that we're getting in here will um, will probably drop dense puffs. So again, I said that he was gonna die, and he did. But he did leave a um, you know good supply of you know solid oxygen. So we've got three people going to combat that guy. Okay. Now we've got a little bit more meat. Um, is this enabled? It is not. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna come up in here. I'll be in here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna finish that. Good. Hopefully, that will create more food. And notice we are slowly getting rid of all of the. Um, the chlorine and the natural gas, it's slowly making its way down. And I will probably turn off the um, the pump when we get to that point, because I don't think we need 
you know, to be pumping everything else that kind of comes into here in there. Awesome, we got that deconstructed. So let's go ahead and put natural gas generator there. And let's go ahead and build just a platform right there. Put a smart battery in. And then we can run all the wire once they get in there and build it all. How's our suits doing? They're doing as good as they can, I suppose. Got in there. How is this doing? Doesn't look like anything's getting too cold currently. So we'll see how that does. Maybe not sending them up to repair it every 10 seconds will uh, let them actually work with it more. Who knows? Um, that's right, we needed to go down here and find some more fossil so we can... It's a good source of it, I think, right there. So over here can kind of come down from there, but I don't want to overexpose that um, whole biome right there. Okay, so we did get in there, so it is pushing this up higher. I don't know if these guys are going to live long enough to put an egg down. We've got a molten slickster larva. Kind of want to leave that one there. We've got another. Oh, we've got another neural vacillator. That's actually kind of cool. Let's try and dig down there. I was kind of hoping we would get some more fossil on the way, but I'm not seeing any. Let's take that. Three, two, three. And they should be able to get down from there. And then we'll dig all this. And that looks perfect. And again, that'll probably just lower this. Not entirely sure if this will equalize on either side. The fluid dynamics aren't always, you know, 100% there. Um, been letting this episode go a little bit longer than normal. Um, but I think that's going to be it today. These guys are going along great. Um, still don't quite have our first morb. Probably another two cycles. I don't know how long that'll take, but, you know, another step. Thank you again for watching, though. Uh, remember to like, leave a comment below, subscribe if you, you know, want to see more of my content. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.